I would like to talk about a very in, uh, interesting subject, about a very interesting animal. Today, when we think about the physics law, if someone talks about walking on water, you would think that uh, he has a great imagination or it could only be possible with via illusions. This ability, which is so impossible for us to do, is a very common way of living for some living creatures. There are some living creatures that walk on water or stroll on the water surface safely without even realizing concepts such as buoyancy of water, loves or the surface tension, or the length or the density. This is a lizard called basilisk mm -hmm. and which lives in the Central America is one of the miraculous creatures that walks on water. It jumps into water when it sees a danger, it stands on its back uh, feet on the water mm -hmm. and it begins to run on the surface of the water. And its physics of running water is very perfect. It has a very uh, interesting physics conditions here I will talk about. And the secret of this miracle is in the cavities filled with the air that forms underneath its feet as it runs. And uh, its feet have scaled whisks that momentarily captures air and prevents the animal from sinking. Therefore, the basilisks walk on air instead of walking water. It's very but interesting. It is actually walking on water, yes. not all walking on air. Yes. yes. And the only thing it needs to do is to be fast as it can and to avoid the air package being ruptured until the next step. However, the basilisks reach a speed of 12 kilometers per hour. It's an amazing uh, yes. number we see here. Yes. While running on water, and as if it's a small animal. Yes, very yes. small animal. We will see the video a uh, few moments later. While running on water, as if it's knows this. Uh, it can pass over a 40 meter long pool. It, it, we can imagine that yes. there is someone who cannot meter. even one, do a one mm -hmm. step, but it can do a very small animal. It can run at 12 uh, kilometers per hour and it can reach a, a 40 meters long pool. It's an amazing number when we think about it. And if the, this lizard does not withdraw its foot from the hole formed, uh, when it compresses its foot on water, it can sink. And in order to pull the foot out, out from the water, the animal needs to overcome the bonding between the water and its foot. And just as the animal pushes down, the toes on its foot are pulled up together with the foot. And this means that when the animal pulls its foot from the hole with speed, mm. only air is formed around it. And when it is not needed, it doesn't get into water because it knows that there is also danger in the water. Yes. It never goes in it. And uh, it has another ability, it buries itself under the leaves when it's on the land, it buries itself under the leaves, so the predators cannot see it. Yes, yes. it can uh, see the predator, it can uh, know that these leaves can cover him up, and he can hide themselves. And how could this little animal know all these things? It's yes. amazing. And also this little animal, uh, which is swimming, also walking on water, uh, can uh, stay under water about half an hour. Mashallah. And uh, also this animal is used by, um, we have that there is a science, uh, a science of biotechnology, uh, biomimetics. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the scientists examine the, uh, the, the way of the movement of uh, this creature and they are making a technology uh, which aim to develop a system they can, that can prevent uh, the, elder, the elderly from falling down. So uh, they use even this tiny creature for making something yes. that a human being cannot make, cannot yes. manage to make. Uh, and uh, evolutionists also claim that um, uh, we wrongly claim that we evolved from uh, creatures like this and we became yes. uh, the from most reptiles. Like yes, the most reptiles. powerful <laughs> creature, a human <laughs> being. But we see that a uh, human being is uh, not as powerful and don't have uh, such great ability yes. Uh, yes. as uh, such mm -hmm. little creature. Yes, and uh, this basilisk, there are uh, other some uh, things, details about it I'd like to talk about. This basilisk generally spend much of their time in the trees and never uh, uh, away from the water. If they generally walk around in the lakes, they mm -hmm. stay in the trees and when threatened comes, they can drop them from a tree, they do a sprint just like we watched on the video and they can uh, do uh, 1.5 meters per second. It's an amazing yes. number for this such a little creature. It can go very fast, we see. And to accomplish this, they have a long toes in their rear feet with the fringes of the skin 
unfurl in the water, increasing surface area. As they rapidly turn their legs, they slap their uh, split feet hard against the water, creating a tiny air pocket that keeps them from sinking and provided they maintain their speed. When gravity uh, eventually does take over, just like you talked about, mm -hmm. the basilic resorts to start their excellent swimming skills. They can uh, uh, swim very yes. good and just like you said, they can stay underwater for a long time. Yes. Uh, for a human being to accomplish what is done by the basilisk lizard, like you talk about Sister yes. Zeynep, he would need to run 104 kilometers per hour, which is impossible, is, yes. <laughs> and consume 15 times more energy than he normally does. And it's quite impossible, yes. like <laughs> this. And which is, uh, under the circumstances, a human being cannot do this. As it's seen, the basilisks can only stand with the help of these detailed calculations. But how this little creature with yes. this very tiny mm -hmm. brain can think about this? However, the basilisk's lack of this consciousness, mm -hmm. it has no consciousness, it has no soul, but it has its life which is given from Allah. And how can it be? Yes. For example, uh, it's clear fact that it cannot calculate and the grams of the weight required so it can stand on water. The speed at which it can be benefit from them, not to fall in the water, it has to be a speed, a regular speed it has, mm -hmm. to ensure not to getting wet and that it cannot take the precautions related to this and make the required change in its body. However, if you ask about this, uh, about this to the evolutionist on this matter, I cannot wonder how many <laughs> funny <laughs> ideas they will come up with, like they always do. They will tell you that blind coincidences might have given the basilisk such an ability. They have always some stories about this blind coincidences, but we talk about numbers here, we talk about calculations here. It's impossible to talk about this, such uh, stories and uh, such uh, coincidences like they said, they claim. So uh, in the coincidence, we can uh, become an engineer. So yes, <laughs> they become they an engineer, they coincidence as a coincidence. And if it's a coincidence, why human being cannot do this? Or why a rabbit cannot do this if we talk about coincidences? Yes. It's not coincidences. Allah created this animal just for these super details. It's yes. so crystal clear that. For uh, its own environment. Yes. Yes. Just we talked about it lives around the water, it lives on the trees, it has the predators, uh, and uh, it, uh, according to its life, Allah created this animal with the best details, with the best uh, yes. specialties. If uh, he, de uh, he uh, didn't have these uh, specialties, these uh, features, he could not live. So yes. if it was um, like evolutionists claim, that uh, they must die away, uh, that uh, they must extinct because he could not die. When the predator came, he could not... Um, fly away and uh, he could not uh, yes. get away and uh, he will die so he can n uh, don't have the time to um, le let me go to the river <laughs> and let me go to the pool and yes. uh, try something yes. and he will die uh, eventually. Doesn't have any time for that. Yes. yes. But uh, from the beginning of this uh, creation he knows what to do, he knows how to do because Allah created them. So yes, Allah inspires them. Yes, mashallah. And of course, it's impossible that illogical approaches from explaining complex systems that require an order to per work perfectly. There's a clear plan here, there's a perfect calculation here, and this calculation belongs to Allah, our Lord, yes. our Creator. And Allah reveals that is uh, one verse from the Quran I will read I seek refuge in Allah from the cure Satan. Every single thing is before his sight. Uh, Allah said in Surah Ar-Rat 8. Yes. MashaAllah. Masha 